bitch in school got me feeling like best. All hair shots, no chest. Every day, Saturday, we bless. You ain't making there yet, take steps. Write your goals down and make progress. But not in my lane, I'm the lock mess. Hey, it's your boy Kari, and I'm coming at you with another video. With another video about um, my Smith & Wesson MP 2.0 9mm handgun. And uh, just so you guys know, the firearm is empty. And there's nothing in the firearm at all, whatsoever. Nothing in the mags is either. So, um, I shot about, I would say, uh, about a thousand rounds out of this as well. Oh, like, I'll shoot way over a thousand rounds. I'd say about maybe 15, probably almost close to my 2,000 round mark on this firearm. But, um, this is actually my very first firearm, my very first handgun. No, you're right. It is my very first firearm and my very first handgun that I bought after I got my concealed carry license. And um, I can tell you this much in the way the reason why I showed this one was because I went to Florida Gun Center, you know, and I tried it out. I tried out the um, both versions. This is the four and a quarter inch barrel, and I and I tried the um, the five inch the five inch barrel as well. They both shoot very well. But you can feel the slight difference between the two because, of course, the longer barrel, which shoots a whole lot smoother. But this handgun shoots very smooth as well. And um, I can tell you, man, I, I enjoy shooting it. It's very accurate. And um, I mainly shoot. My, my groups are pretty tight. And, of course, that all goes on not just the firearm. It also depends on the shooter mainly. But I can tell you this much, this gun is very nice. The gun is very nice to shoot. It is fun to shoot as well. And, um, like, you know, and this is the, the mag that comes with. This is 17, yeah, 17 plus one. And um, the mags drop just as freely, you know. And also, I had a safety on this. You know, I did have the safety here, but, you know, I took that out because I felt like, even though I was training with the safety on and off, you know what I'm saying? Every time, you know, I would draw, I would engage the safety to take it off. You know, I present and go, you know what I'm saying? I would do it over again. You know, I would draw, click, boom, draw, click, boom. You know what I mean? Like, I would, I would do that, but... I realize sometimes when I'm shooting, you know what I'm saying, my thumb would sometimes, due to the recoil, you know what I'm saying, sometimes my thumb would accidentally engage the safety. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, I do not want to be in a self-defense or self-defense shooting and um, that ends up happening as I'm trying to put rounds downrange on the person that's like, you know, trying to cause me, you know, death about bodily harm. And um, I said, you know what? This is a bad liability, you know, not by the manufacturer, but, you know, I just felt more comfortable. If I just take off the safety, I would not have to worry about it. So I, um, I learned this from a previous, from a, from a previous video that someone was changing to change, to take off the, uh, you know, the safety mechanism. And, um, in that video, someone had told him where all he has to do to contact Smith & Wesson, you know, it's in the handbook and everything else like that, the manual, and they will send you these these two plugs to fill in so that you can, um, you know, take your safety off. And there's a video on how to take it off, you know what I mean, and um, and the kind of some of the tools to use for it. So um, that's what I did. I took the safety off, and I have no problem whatsoever because me, I believe that I am very responsible on, you know, trigger trigger management and, uh, you know, how to keep my finger up here every single time. When I take some of my friends or even my father and my, my mom, you know, I tell them, like, hey, whenever you're handling a firearm, you know, treat it like it's loaded. Even if you did just see me do this, like, let's say if the firearm wasn't loaded, right? And I did this. I took the mag out. There's no mag. I wrapped the slide. Nothing came out. And I and I give and I give it to uh and I give it to the next person and I give it to whoever I'm you know I'm talking to, um, just because you see me do it and no round came out, you do the same exact thing. That's exactly just what you do, and you keep your finger up here at all times. And um, but uh yeah man um 
this firearm is also an amazing and it fits in my hand very well uh the texture on the um on the grip is it's tough you know and of course that will get um it's almost like a sandpaper almost but of course the more you handle the firearm you know it's not going to feel as um it's not going to feel as you know as sandpaper like like tough sandpaper like the more you you know your hands keep rubbing up against it and stuff like that and shooting and um but i can tell you this much um if you want to you know conceal carry this thing you would want to buy you a holster that um where it this doesn't ride up against your skin because it is gonna bother the shit out of you so do proper research on you know on concealed carry on a concealed carry holster for this particular firearm because of the grip you know what i'm saying not to say that this can't be concealed because even though it is a full-size handgun it still can't be concealed that's my review on my smith and wesson mp 2.0 9 millimeter handgun and um there's actually a video on uh the actually self-defense round tests i did on this i did with my handgun it was uh three particular rounds it was um liberty civil defense and Hornady Critical Defense and Fiochi. So, um, yeah, you can check that video out, which is also in my range vlog videos. And um, you can go ahead and check that out so you can have a good idea of uh, maybe which ammunition, self defense ammunition you want to put through this, um, put, through, put through this handgun here. Um, I would also recommend, you know, for um, the ball FMJ for, for this handgun would be the Federal Eagle Syntec ammunition the red tips and um i will also recommend blazer brass blazer brass is pretty good um i'm not saying like you know you can't choose other ones but those are two mainly ones i've used and i've uh you know used um some also some tpj which is total polymer jacket you know which is not bad because those like tsj and tpj total polymer total synthetic those rounds are you know ball ammunition and um with those two particular though, um, they do not leave as much carbon and as much dirt and all that inside the firearm while it's going through the barrel. So that so they leave not that much gook and whatever in your um in your farm and down your barrel. That's why I say those two are pretty good, not too bad at all. Blazer brass, of course, since it's steel, it's metal, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna leave some carbon in there. But I'm not saying don't use blazer brass because it's pretty good. But uh so yeah. Enough of all that. This is my review on this handgun, and um, I would definitely recommend this for anyone who is looking for, uh, you know, maybe even their first handgun. Of course, it's all up to you because it will feels right to you. You know what I'm saying? But um, this handgun is pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing, and um, yeah, I would say that's about it. So please, I would appreciate it if you like my videos. If you like. Um, if you like this video and you appreciate it and you enjoy it, um, please hit the like and hit the subscribe button so you will know when I will be posting up another one. And um, that is it for today. Check you guys later.